Hi, this is Kate Moffett, and I'm the User Support Specialist at RoadMonk, and I'm going to do a quick video tutorial on how to create a roadmap in less than five minutes. So when you first log in to RoadMonk, you'll see your homepage. These are all the roadmaps that I own, which is why they're nested under the My Roadmaps folder. If any are shared with you, they'll be under Shared with me, or if you want to access any in-app templates, they're available in our Templates section. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to be choosing one of our in-app templates, so I'm going to go ahead and just select the feature roadmap. Once this loads up, I can take a quick look to make sure that it's exactly what I want and then what I want to work with, and then I'm just going to simply select Use This Template. You can choose to give it a new name, change the fiscal year end, and if you want, you can clear the sample data, or if you want to just play around, you can keep the sample data available. So now I'm going to create it, and it will automatically import it into my account. So first thing you'll notice is that it brings you to Feature Roadmap, the name of your roadmap, and View 2. If you click on View 2, you'll notice you have all data, View 1, with the four rectangles, which means it's a swim lane, and View 2, which is a timeline. If I toggle over to All Data, this is where all the heavy lifting occurs. This is where you add all of your items, which is what you are physically road mapping, the date ranges assigned to each item, the owner, in this case, uh, of the items, as well as a status and category. If you want to add different fields, you can click this plus button and you can add a new field. If it's not available yet, you can create a new field by simply clicking create new field. In this case, maybe we'll enter a department. The different types of departments are what you'll enter as the values. So this could be design, development, maybe even UX and UI. And once you're done, you simply click Create Field. That'll create the field as well as populate it in your items table. From here, you can bulk edit by clicking and dragging, clicking in and selecting the proper department for your items. Perfect. So now that we have all of our fields, owner, status, category, and department are our fields, and all of our values assigned to our items, our, our values being Greedo, Leo, and Obi-Wan, Leia, pardon me, scheduled, complete, and in progress are our status values, and as well for category, scalability, enterprise growth, design, dev, and UX for department. Now we can create a view. So click the plus view button, give it a name if you want, and select whether you want to choose a swim lane or a timeline. Click Create, and that'll just import all of your items into a timeline view. From here, you're going to want to pivot your data. By what I mean by pivot is within the format panel over here to the right, you're going to want to select a header. Your headers are going to be pulling from your fields. So if we scroll down to Roadmap Fields, maybe we want to pivot by department. This will segregate all the items into their respective departments as you assign them in the items table. If you want to add another pivot, for example, a subheader, maybe we want to see which item owner is working on what and when those items are due, we can then further pivot to include the owners of those items. Now you can play around with the aesthetics. Just like almost everything in RoadMonk, you can drag and drop. So maybe I want to extend this a little further. Maybe I want to narrow in on the time that I'm, vi that I'm viewing. Maybe I want to slide it over to the future or maybe a little bit further in the past. And from here, we can do one more pivot, which is color. So toggling over to the colors tab in the format panel, you can color by a field as well. Perhaps you want to color by status to see the different statuses of your items. So I color by status, pop out this little legend, and here you'll see that I've got yellow items are backlog, purple are scheduled, and gray are marked as complete. So this is our first roadmap as a timeline. And to give an example of a swim lane view, which you create in the same way, simply selecting swim lane view instead of timeline, and you pivot in the same way. Swim lanes are great if you're not using dates. As uh, the purpose of swim lane is that you don't, need, you don't require dates, and so you can pivot, for example, by status and category. And again, you can color by one of your fields, and the column header can inherit that item color if you choose. Further, if you want to drill down and only display certain items within a certain view, for example, in this case, maybe we want to assign um, the filter to only display what's in the backlog, 
we can simply select that from within the Filters tab under the Status block and only selecting Backlog and Update. From here, I can rename the view to Backlog. And this will be nested under that list of views, which all pull from the same All Data set. From here, we've got export options, PNG, HTML, and URL. You can also export your items to CSV. Our most popular is certainly published to URL, and this is because it's a more dynamic version of the PNG file. And as well, you can share the URL with anybody, include a password if, you want, if you'd like. And basically, you have the same thing as a PNG file. However, you can, anyone with the URL can click into these items and access the item card. This big white space here, this is actually your description field. So any additional details or any drill down de details that you want to include about, for example, conversion tracking item, you can include here and anyone with the URL can access them. Further, if I go back into my timeline view, if you want to export to a PNG, we also have that option. And you can play with the different dimensions and resolutions in order to get the view that you want for printing. So in this case, I may select 16 to 10 to widen it a little bit. Maybe I want to change the resolution just so I have very limited overlap, or perhaps I'm printing to a very large paper. We also have the option to have a transparent background and to remove or add any additional details to the printout of the roadmap. Some additional details, you'll notice we have milestones. You can add milestones freely to your roadmap by simply adding the plus item, toggling over to milestones, entering a name for your milestone and dragging and dropping that directly onto your roadmap. Another cool feature is that within the item cards, if you click in, toggle over to fields, maybe you have some specific uh, dates within your item that need to be met. For example, there's a phase one within your date, within your item, and between April 23rd and December 22nd, phase one needs to be completed by May 27th. So that marks that up this way. You can add as many as you'd like to your items. And then when you click update, you'll notice that mobile version now has a phase one marker on the item. One other cool feature is the master roadmaps. So for example, coming back to my homepage, if I wanted to roll up, for example, my portfolio, my product, and my startup, and my marketing roadmaps, I can do so by creating a master. The only difference with a master and a standard roadmap is that you will be choosing sources to roll up into one master roadmap, kind of like for an executive view or a high, or a high level bird's eye view of your organization. So as you'll see here, my source roadmaps are my marketing, product, and startup, and all of the data from those three roadmaps are available in this master roadmap. From here, you can pivot in the same way. So if there are any shared common fields, such as department, it'll break out all of the data from those three roadmaps by department. Some additional functions that are available are in field management, managing your starred fields, and your suggested merges, all which have availability, all of which have information available on our support center, which you can access at support.roadmonk.com, where we have a large database of different help articles, such as quick guides, getting started, as well as master road mapping and account management. If you have any questions, we're always available over chat. You can start a new conversation with us and ask us anything you'd like, or you can shoot us an email at support.roadmonk.com. At